fight coming up next. It is the UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World between the Gypsy King, Tyson Fury, and AJ Anthony Joshua. All right, so here he is, every bit six foot six inches tall. Anthony Joshua making the walk to the octagon here tonight. No denying the hands, no denying the boxing prowess, the technical acumen, the big question facing Joshua tonight. How is the takedown defense? How has he closed that gap in trying to become a well-rounded mixed martial artist? We're gonna get some answers here in short order. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So these fighters are just a year apart with similar height and some differences in reach. And now with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live! from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 237 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, presenting the challenger, Anthony Joshua. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 257 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Tyson Fury. This is for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. So here it is, the start of round one in the UFC, no less, between Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury. For one reason or another, never got a line with contracts signed in the boxing world, but it shall be done tonight. And let's see if Fury can get it done, can be at his wild best, get Anthony Joshua off of his technical game a little bit. Fascinating stylistic matchup, and I'm curious to see who will have the upper hand. Nice strike. Slips that left hand. A couple of 
solid shins here being tested early. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Beautifully placed there by Joshua. Big hook. Landed the right hand there. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Under three minutes now to go in round one. Oh, nice jab by Tyson Fury. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe a huge connection by him there. He needs to get on the bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by the Gypsy King. Scramble, scramble, scramble. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, got to be careful playing around inside his guard. Absolutely, John. That's why you don't sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, it gives these guys too many opportunities to chase submissions. And now he's jumping on a triangle. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbow's tucked to the ribs. The jab goes out, the jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Taibo class or something like that. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? It's a beautiful fast foot jab with meaning. Nice hook land. Oh, big left hook there. Telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round. Yeah, where's my Telestrator, man? <laughs> I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking, it was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this round. You ready to fight? You ready? Round two is underway. He connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head. Oh! What a fantastic... He's hurt! He's hurt! Back to the feet! Oh, big left! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got him a moment hurt very bad. the shot all right so he's landed some good shots you hate to be overly critical but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight well the jab has been looking great oh huge shot the target there. great shot man now he's got to go find that follow-up the kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight slips to avoid the right oh left hook to the head it's blocked There. Straight right hand now just misses. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. Oh! Huge right hand! Jumping in to 
to try to get the finish. Oh, he got him. He got him. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the block. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a control posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your opponent. Oh! He's out! Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors just played a ton of hard. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at four minutes, two seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Tyson Fury. All right, so we hear and still tonight our UFC heavyweight champion came in with a lot of pressure, a lot of height, and he successfully defends the title here tonight. With all that pressure, he never changes his approach. He always does exactly what he says he's going to do, and he remains the champion in the UFC's biggest and most dangerous division.